Welcome back. Today I'm going to be talking about my top 5 orange lipsticks. Since you guys really liked my top 5 red lipsticks video, I decided I should follow that up with my top 5 orange lipsticks as well. So if you guys are looking forward to buying orange lipsticks, I hope this video helps you guys. And without any further ado, let's get started with it. So the first lipstick that I want to talk about is the one that I am wearing. This is from L'Oreal and this is from their Color Vish Extraordinaire range and this was uh, very recently launched I think this was launched uh, this last December or January and it was launched exclusively at Nika.com but now I think you can find it everywhere this is in the shade orange tempo this lipstick is somewhere in between a lip gloss and a lipstick I think we could consider this to be a lip lacquer the lipstick is very very moisturizing I think the pigments are dissolved in oils I guess and the lip lacquer comes along with these doe foot applicator uh, which I think is the perfect size and shape to fill in your lips perfectly and this lipsticks are insanely pigmented they are super duper pigmented I am wearing it on my lips right now with just one swipe of this lacquer on your lips you get this really pigmented uh, finish and the color itself is a very very pretty orange it's a very vibrant orange and the thing with this lipstick though uh, the glossiness goes away after some time but uh, the pigments they tend to stick on your on your lips and um, that's why uh, it usually stains your lips so that way um, the color lasts longer than the glossiness and other than that I think uh, this is a very very beautiful shade of orange and this uh, was and I think this was priced at rupees 800 or 900. I'm not really sure, but I did a full blog post on them when they were released. So I'm going to link it here on the cards uh, so you guys can click on that and check out the full review of this product and, um, and the pricing and everything. And I'm also going to link it down below in the info box so you guys can go check that out. The next shade that I wanted to talk about is full on orange I am not sure if it's looking good on my skin but the color itself is like a perfect orange it's a very 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 vibrant orange and it's very cool toned I'm talking about the shade Audacious from the Revlon Colorburst Matte Balm range and this is such a vibrant orange and I actually bought this just looking at the packaging I didn't even try it on my lips because I thought you know what this is like a perfect orange I don't even have to try which is why I think I like the packaging a lot because you can tell what exactly the color is of the balm and it's really easy for me to organize it and pick it up when I am you know getting ready and these lipstick come in those uh twist up pen sort of packaging so which is really nice like you don't have to uh, really sharpen it or carry a sharpener along with you and uh, these are super duper pigmented as well the only problem with the matte balms i think is uh like i need quite a bit of time for it to go evenly because um it goes in a little patchy at first it clots on your lips and it can sit on your dry areas so moisturize your lips really really well before you wear this and then i think you are sorted otherwise audacious is a very very pretty and affordable orange lip color for your lips so the next lipstick that I wanted to talk about is from Bourjois and this is in the shade number 20 called 123 Soleil. This lipstick is very very similar to Revlon's lip butters and the Revlon lip butters were one of my favorite favorite lipsticks because they were so buttery it's like wearing a really really pigmented lip balm these shine edition lipsticks are made out of mango butter so they feel insanely soft and buttery on your lips and they are super duper pigmented and these lipsticks are supposed to be really really shiny and they aren't matte 
Um, that's why they don't last really, really long on It lasts as long as how a normal lip balm would last on your lips. Um, it tends to stay in your lips just a little bit, but um, these lipsticks will go away if you eat or drink anything. The only thing that I don't like about this lipstick is that they don't last really long. But other than that, I think the formula is really, really nice. And these lipsticks are super duper moisturizing and this color in particular is one of my favorite because it is so vibrant and coral and orange I don't even call it like a corally orange is that a color but uh, it comes under one of my top five orange lipsticks uh, because of the formulation is it just me or does the color look very similar to audacious that i just showed when i bought it i thought they looked completely different but now that i am wearing it side by side i think these two colors are really really similar and the next lipstick is from color bar and this lipstick is called take me as i am and these lipsticks come in the stick form it's like a pencil it's a very chubby pencil and you need to sharpen this lipstick to use it and i misplace my sharpeners so easily which is why i wish this lipstick came in like a you know a twisted up pen sort of a packaging and this lipstick has received some serious love because you can actually see the wood through the packaging because it has completely come off and i think this is in the shade sinful orange or sensuous red it was either one of them i'll just find out which one was it i think it was a red lipstick and it looks so orange on my lips this lipstick stays on forever First of all, it is super duper pigmented, so you need to be really careful when you're applying it and I would recommend that you use a lip liner before you apply such pigmented matte colors and these are super duper matte as well. It takes a little time for this lipstick to set but once it's set, it does not go anywhere and even though these lipsticks are matte, you can't really tell on your lips because they are very moisturizing. I think this also has like some shea butter or something in it because it definitely has. I can tell it on my lips because they also feel really, really buttery and these go on super smooth on the lips and like I said, it's very, very pigmented. The color is so bright i mean i can't wear this when i'm going out uh, in the daytime because people are going to stare at me because it is so loud it looks neon i don't know if it's coming off like that on camera but this color is very very neon orange and i think this lipstick was priced at rupees 800 and they also had a really nice my lips but better color but I really fell in love with this shade so I got this instead of that one. I feel like putting this lipstick in this video is kind of like cheating but this video would be incomplete if I don't put this lipstick. So I am going to put it in anyways and I don't know if you can guess the color already but this is Lady Danger by MAC and it's one of my favorite orange lipsticks. It's so funny that I was calling this lipstick red in my previous video and now I'm calling it orange. Uh, but I did mention that this looked really orange on my lips and which is why I love this lipstick. Lady Danger is one of the first MAC lipsticks that I bought so it obviously holds a really special place in my heart and in my lipstick collection. So I absolutely love this color i love wearing bright colors and when i had gone to buy this lipstick that was the time when i had this mad orange lipstick craze i even tried on morange by mac which is a super orange lipstick you guys should definitely check out mac morange but um it didn't look as nice as lady danger looked on my skin tone lady danger is actually a red lipstick with orange undertones but on some people it looks really really red and on some people it looks orange and on me it definitely looks orange so i absolutely love this lipstick it's one of my favorite orange lipsticks and i just realized that this looks so similar to 
the color bar take me as I am lipstick that I just wore like wearing this lipstick side by side I just realized that you know I have so many lipsticks that are so similar and I don't realize that when I am like buying new ones and I always end up buying the same lip colors but Lady Danger is a little bit more drying than the color bar one uh, the color bar one is very very moisturizing but still long lasting whereas this one is really drying but long lasting so uh, make sure that you moisturize your lip really well before wearing Lady Danger and since MAC hiked up their lipstick prices by so much it's uh, 1500 for one lipstick now uh, whereas the color bar one is for 800 um, this one's 999 when I bought it uh, which was um, I think a year ago uh, so I thought it was you know well justified um, but now if you don't want to you know uh, purchase a lipstick for 1500 you can definitely check out the color bar one because I don't know if you can tell but both the lipsticks are really really similar and that one is more moisturizing than Lady Danger but Lady Danger is Lady Danger it's an iconic shade so if you want to invest on a MAC one you obviously can but I just gave you another option since it felt like I was cheating a bit by showing Lady Danger in both the videos I decided I should show a bonus one and this one isn't actually a lipstick but a lip gloss and this one is by Revlon and this is their Color Burst Lip Gloss in Sizzle. It's in the shade number 48 and it's a very bright orange lip gloss and I used to love pairing this on top of Lady Danger. There was a time when I really liked wearing glossy orange lips. Um, not now, I wouldn't do that now, but I will show you how it looks. comes with the doe foot applicator which is really big and nice so it's really easy for me to apply this all over my lips and I'm just going to apply this and show you guys how it looks. So this is how it looks on top of Lady Danger. So if you aren't a fan of uh, matte orange lips, you can use this on top of any one of these matte lipsticks and it can make it look really really glossy. I think the gloss is pretty pigmented even if you don't pair it along with the lipstick um, but the only thing about this is that it's really sticky and it's not long lasting at all like especially if I'm in the auto or something um, hair always gets stuck on my lips and I hate that feeling and the gloss will obviously go away if you eat or drink something. So these were my top 5 orange lipsticks. I hope you found this video helpful. If you are going out to buy an orange lipstick this spring summer, I'm sure this video will help you guys out. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I'll be making new video every Monday and Thursday. So make sure that you subscribe, hit that subscribe button right now and thank you so much for watching it really means a lot i love reading your comments and going through all your snaps and instagram comments it just makes my day and if you guys have some other orange lipsticks which i haven't really tried or shown in this video make sure that you share them in the comments down below and i would love to see and check out your recommendations because you guys seriously give out some of the best recommendations i have actually found a new nail polish to obsess over because of you guys but i will talk about that in some other video so thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye